The Immersive Reader is a helpful tool that you can find in Canvas Pages. Right now it's only in Pages. You can also find it in Flipgrid and in Nearpod. The way it works is in the upper right corner, you've got this button that says Immersive Reader. If you click on that, you'll see that my screen changes. So you've got a variety of different settings. So if you come over to the A here, you can change your fonts. So I find Comic Sans easier to read, so I use that one. You can adjust text size. So if you want it larger or smaller, you can adjust that. You can increase the spacing. So if you want it to have more space, if it's easier for you to read, if there's larger spaces between things, you can in include that. You can adjust the different colors of your screen. So figure out which one is easiest for you to read. They have a grammar part. This is probably not one that you're going to use a lot, but if you want, you can click on this. And so now all of my nouns are in purple. Then you can come over here for line focus. So right now it's showing just one word at a time, but I can change it so instead it's showing me just one line. You'll notice how the rest of the screen gets kind of grayed out. You can still see it, but this helps me focus on just one line at a time. Or I can change it to three lines or five lines. Notice this one, the blank space counts as a line. And if you don't want that on and you just want it going word by word, you just turn that off by clicking this button on and off. There's also a picture dictionary. Not all words are in here, but I can click on a word. And if it's got a picture to go with it to help you understand the definition, that will show up. Otherwise, they'll just say the word. So let's see. So here's culture. So it's got pictures to go along with it. So with a lot of words not having that, it's only partially useful. But it is something that you might find handy when it does have a word to go with it. So those are the settings that you'll set up. And then it'll save it and remember what you want for the next time. So you really only need to set this up once. And then wherever I've last clicked is where it's going to start reading. So here it's going to start at the word culture. I can come here and press play. Culture. You have three tasks to complete for your e-learning assignment to start wrapping up the unit. I can also change the voice. So I can change the speed and I can decide if I want it to be male or female. So this is a pretty useful tool. It's in Canvas Pages. You can use it to help you read if you are struggling with reading or you do better if you can hear the text instead of reading it. So those are helpful tools for you when you're ready to leave the screen reader or the um, immersive reader. You just click exit that arrow right there. And again, if you want back in, just click immersive reader.